Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And today I'm here with a Goodwill Dollar Day haul. So I've been doing more Dollar Days, which in the Los Angeles area, every Thursday, the color of the week goes to a dollar, moves to a dollar. And I really prefer the bins because I don't have to worry about pricing. However, going to Dollar Day is only an hour versus two and a half hours to the bins for me. Um, again, I, I, I'm pretty much an hour from any thrift store, so it's driving anywhere. But I can go, I can spend a few hours, I can leave my dog in, in her crate so she can kind of take a, a nap and I don't really have to waste my entire day to just get some, some items to resell. So I thought I would share what I found. I think this is my best dollar day yet and hopefully you'll see why. Um, I got a, a, a number of things I'm really excited to list and some good things that were maybe just a dollar that won't bring in too much, but just a great deal. And yeah, so if you aren't already subscribed and you like reseller content, uh, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And if you like these dollar day hauls, let me know, hit the thumbs up, it means a lot to me. So I'm just gonna jump in to the first item which I'm most excited about. Um, if you saw my recent, what was it? I think it was my top 20 sales on Poshmark. Then you may have remembered that I had a free people bag that sold, I wanna say for $145. And that same day that video came out, this is the day I went to the dollar day and I found another free people bag. So it's the second one I found in a year of reselling. So it's just odd timing, but this one is super cute. It's got, I still, I haven't cut, I haven't taken photos of this. So the original price I did pay was $5.99 for this. You could just tell it's, I mean, it's leather all the way around. It's feels great. It's nice and heavy. It's obviously a very trendy, cute style. So I did look this up and this is the Salty Sea Blue Fringe Tote. And there's a couple, I want to say there was like, I mean, here's just a really minor um, mark right there and then I want to say there was I haven't completely inspected because I haven't gotten into the light like here's a little mark right there but really honestly I mean if you look at the bottom it's almost like this was barely used it's in really great condition so anyways I'm really excited about this there aren't any listed that I can find there was one that sold on Poshmark, but the photos were really dark. Like it was someone who was maybe selling their own personal bag, so they probably didn't know how to look up comps or price things. I think that sold for 60. There was, it sold out online on Free People's website. And I think there might be another one listed. I can't remember. But anyways, it is a rare bag at this point because I can't find it much. So I think I'm gonna go high, not as high as the other one. I don't know, I'm still kind of up for debate. I love these little, the strap, the studs. Um, I, it's still up for debate because it's in such great condition and it's just such a, I don't know, standard, really great free people item. I might go a little high. I'll probably start this at 125. I'll do a little bit more research before listing it, but 125 and hope for about 80 to 100. But um, yeah, I was really excited about this and I just, it was just such ironic timing. So I got two other bags. This one, I don't, I don't think this is supposed to be on there. I'll, I'll show you in a second, but it's a really cute, love this color orange, uh, just a very lightweight leather bag and it's in excellent condition. Like it's never been used. I, I mean, I, I don't see any signs of wear um, inside or out, but the brand is, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so hopefully it'll pick up here. Uh, yeah, but it's really cute. I love the color. The thing that's kind of weird is there was this on here, which is FB. You can see right here that it's it can be easily removed. So I think this was maybe added because FB is not, I mean, this doesn't make sense for the brand that I can't pronounce. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys know what FB means, but maybe I'll look it up anyways it's a super cute bag it's very lightweight it's very functional great size so this has very mixed comps 
Uh, some were going for quite a bit. I think when they have very mixed comps and you see some items sell for 60 to $80 and other similar items sell for 10 to 15, I think what that, indi that indicates to me is that an item won't sell quickly. So maybe people who really wanna move their inventory quick, they'll just keep dropping the price until something sells uh, versus people who will hold on to items until they get the price they think it's worth. So I'm more team keep the item until I think I can get what it's worth. Um, but when I pick something up and I see those mixed comps, I take that in, con in consideration. I did pay full price for this as well, so another $5.99, I believe. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm probably gonna start this at 60, hope for about 35 to 45. Um, but just because it's such great condition, I mean, if I needed a bag, which I don't, I would definitely keep this because it's just, it's such a cute little pop of color. But. And then the last bag I got was another one that has mixed comps. This was a dollar though, so I thought it was worth more of a risk. Really cute leather bag. I love the, the detailed embroidery. Is it embroidery? Yeah, it's embroidery. Uh, and I had to look it up as well. It is Burge. It's a little awkward. I'm, I'm guessing that's how you say it, made in Italy. There's a few faint marks inside, but nothing major. I just need to take a little leather conditioner to it because there's a few faint marks, but it's in great condition. And I just, I thought it was a great neutral. So I decided to take a chance on it. Again, I'm probably gonna start this at 60 and hope for about 35 to 45. But um, yeah, I was really happy with the bags. Ironically, because I posted that video of the things I sold for the highest amount, I said in that video that when I'm going with limited time, maybe I should focus on the bags and shoes. And I don't always do that, but because I put that video out that day, it was on my mind and I went directly for the shoes and bags and came out with a few really good bags. So I did only get one pair of shoes, but there were some great ones. They were just not a dollar and not, you know, just, it wasn't worth it for me to pick up. But I did find these. These are Stuart Weitzman. And it looks like a little bit of an older label. I don't know if it's gonna pick up the detailing. They're kind of just a mule heel. heel. Uh, the nice thing about these is these are actually size four. And what I'm learning is some of my smaller items go quickly. Um, and I think it's because if you're a size four foot, you can't go to a normal store to buy shoes. I would imagine that it would be hard to find shoes. So I think I decided it was only a dollar. Um, they're cute and classic. They kind of remind me of like a witch's, I don't know, the pointed toe and kind of the floral detail. But uh, anyway, so I'm, I'm, comps are very hit or miss with Stuart Weitzman. Um, some do really great. Some you just, you know, you won't, I, I, I can't imagine that you would get too much for. These do have some signs of wear, but definitely nothing major, really pretty decent condition. So. I think I'm gonna start these at 50 and hope for about 30 to 40, just because of that small size, so. All right, I do have clothing, and then I have, I think, five hard goods that I'll show at the end that I was excited about. So, first up is a pair of Lululemon men's shorts, and they're kind of just a very soft material. I'm sure the material is not picking up, but just very soft. The thing that kind of throws me off with this and I did briefly look up to see if I could find the name of this. I gave up because I just needed to get the video done. But if you could see, there's just this one little, um, I can't remember what this is called, but it's blue and then the rest are black. I don't know if that's intentional. It doesn't look like, I don't know. It looks exactly the same, but blue. So I think that might be a style thing, but I need to do some more research to find out what exactly this short is called. Um, there seems to be a common short called T dot H dot E, like the, but dots in between, like an acronym. It's got pockets and it does have the little pull tag. So it's a size 32. It's a little worn, but it's there. So anyways, with these, the shorts didn't look too great, which I was surprising because some of the men's stuff does pretty well. So I'm hoping for about 30 to 35 for these, which I guess that's not bad, but, and that was not a dollar. I did pay full price for, for that. This one I also paid full price for. I really, really like this one. It's All Saints and it is, I don't even know what to call it. 
It's kind of a tunic length. It is the coolest thing. It has a zipper that goes all the way to the top. The only time I've ever seen this is I bought a hoodie when I went to Japan one time. Uh, there was a store called Bathing Ape or Bape. A lot of resellers talk about it like it's a dream thing. I did buy a couple Bape items. This is before I was a reseller. I donated them when I stopped using them. Uh, but my ex boyfriend had told me to go to the store when I was in Japan because it was just a really great unique store and I think at the time it was only in Japan so I went there I paid full price for I think a t-shirt and this hoodie and the hoodie zipped all the way it was really a funky style and I just thought it was such a cool feature and I haven't seen that feature until now so anyways it's got kind of this sheer it's not sheer but it's lightweight overlay so it's very draped it kind of has like this tie thing on the front um it's kind of got a little bit of the raw hem and yeah it's just flowy and i just think that this is so hip uh it's 100 percent silk it's us4 and man it's just it feels great so i'm actually going to start this high i did pay full price i'm going to start this high and probably started at about 100 some All Saints can do really well. And there were some similar styles that did pretty well. I couldn't find this exact style, but I'm gonna start at about 100 and hope for about 70 to 80. Um, yeah, but another, nope, this is Robin, but not All Saints. This is a pair of leggings and they are kind of textured. I don't know if it's gonna pick up. And they do have a zipper on the ankle but elastic waist, stretch all the way around, and rag and bone. These are the black chevron, that's all it says. There's a style number. But size medium, and because they have the stretch, they just look tinier, but that's rag and bone. So I was excited to find these. Again, I don't think I paid, I think I paid full price for these, but I'm hoping to get about 40 to 50 for these. Just really great, great pair of leggings. Another rag and bone item that I paid full price for, these are just really cute. Uh, they are, let's see if I can hold them up, a cropped kind of flare raw hem. Love the front detail. They are a size 25, uh, just a nice medium wash. And uh, yeah, so with these, hoping to get probably about the same. I'm gonna start them at 65 and hope for about 40 to 50. If you don't watch all my hauls, I tend to give a range of what I'm hoping for. Just depends on how long it sits. Uh, I just like to disclose that to hopefully be helpful of what I think the value of these items is, which can also help to maybe show why I picked something up or paid full price. Um, but yeah. All right, so this is a pair, this is a, another Lululemon item. I think these are called In the Flow, too. <laughs> Blue crop cinched. Capri leggings. Here's the Lululemon logo. Just a really pretty blue color, very stretchy. I don't have the size, which actually I did not check here. Oh, size six. So on some of the stuff, because I had looked up at the waistband and there was no pull tag, but I saw these two lines, which I some Lululemon items, I don't think it's picking up. There's two lines right here. Uh, some Lululemon items, that's a size indicator and it's not on all. But then I do know that sometimes they put it inside if you roll up the hem. And again, I don't know if it's pulling up, but it says six right there. So size six, uh, gonna list these at probably 60 and hope for about 35 to 45. Just really great condition. All right, let's see. Next up was unique items. So I've done quite a bit of cycling in my life. In fact, I need to get back into it. Um, I used to do century rides and um, triathlons and stuff like that. And so I think cycling stuff stands out to me just because I'm aware of the brands and, and the materials and stuff. But this, I could tell right away, was a cycling jersey, really pretty green color, but I did not recognize the brand. And it might be a little hard to see, but I think it's, uh, R-A-P-H-A, -A, so maybe Rafa. It was also on the sleeve right here. 
and it just had a lot of details. And so I thought that's strange. I don't, I've never seen this brand in any of the cycling stores I've been to. There's a lot of branding and detail. It just seems very well made. So I decided to look it up. Oh, just spotted a little bit of a hole. That's not a big deal. It's in the back pocket where people throw a lot of food and stuff. So um, oh, this is a wrapper from the Gugan that you eat when you're riding. It's one of the things. Oh, there's, yeah, okay, that's all the trash in there. But <laughs> anyways, I think it's a women's size medium, just size comparison. And I looked at this brand and it is incredibly expensive and goes for a lot resell. Some of it, it was all over the place. With this, I'm probably gonna start it at 75, maybe bring it down to 60 because of that small hole, which I mean, it is really small. And you throw things in these back pockets so that you can kind of grab while you're riding. But anyways, I was really excited to find this. I did pay full price for this. I think it was only $4.99. But yeah, I think I'm gonna start it a little high and just accept a best, best offer, but pretty color, great new cycling brand for me, and I love picking up cycling stuff, so. All right, this is a, the tag's a little funky. It's a Helmet Lang tank top. So there's the brand, it's a size medium. It's just a cotton, I just kinda liked the print. This was full price as well, but their tank tops I think are only $3.99. So I don't think I'm gonna get too much, maybe 20 to 25 is what I'm hoping for but it's a brand people search for, it's a designer, so I decided to pick it up. This was probably my one mistake of the day, I think. Uh, and it was a free people top, and I just forgot it was at the bottom of the bag, to be honest, and that just happens. So this is full price as well, so I think I paid $3.99 for this, because it's a tank top. It is really cute, but the reason it's a mistake is I didn't give it a good look, and it just has some light pulls. I don't know if it's gonna pick up, but Here's a little string. Um, so I'll try and sell it maybe, just trim those. It's super cute. It's spaghetti strap, but I think you can take off the straps and it's got kind of a built-in, not full bra, but just lining on the bra. It's a size small. I just think it's a super cute style. So I think I'll just trim those and just disclose. I don't know, anyways. So with that, maybe 15 to 20. This is a pair of really pr fun, kind of a bright green silk pants, They're kind of a slim leg. Um, the, I haven't steamed these or taken photos of them, but yeah, kind of a slim leg. And I sold this brand. I actually picked it up at a regular thrift store in LA a few months ago. Blue Marine, maybe? Uh, made in Italy. This is a size, it's 100% silk. This is an international size 42. And that, whatever it was, I think it was a sweater, sold fairly quickly. And for a decent amount, the comps, the real real does take this brand. So yeah, anyways, I saw the tag. This was regular price as well, but I thought how fun and funky were these. Thought I'd give it a shot. I don't think I'll lose any money. Only hoping for about 30 to 40 for these, but I just thought they were fun. Too fun to pass up, so. All right, this one was a dollar item. I think we're moving into the rest of the stuff as dollar items, but so I found two Lafayette. I don't have them together, so the other one will be in a second, but I found two Lafayette 148 New York jackets, and they were both a dollar. This one, when I started steaming it, which I started steaming it so I could take photos of it last night, but it kind of is doing this like, I don't know if it's going to pick up, but this kind of puckering, like this, I don't know if, it is a wool blend jacket. I've never had this happen when steaming, but it just doesn't seem to be responding well. It's dry clean only. It's 96% wool, 4% elastic. So maybe elastane. Uh, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe I shouldn't have steamed this. I mean, it doesn't say do not steam, but, and it didn't do it all over. It just kind of did it in these front parts right here. So, and I mean, I, I just kept like holding the, st I don't know, it's very weird. So I think this might be a damaged item because I don't think I feel comfortable and this wouldn't get too much anyways. I mean, it is a good size. I can't remember, I think it was a 12, but I think this is, I'm, I think I'm just gonna redonate it because I just, I can't, I think I may have damaged it with the steam, but if I were to sell it, I would probably be looking at 
um, 10 to 15 if I were to disclose that, which I might try, but um, if it were not damaged, I would probably be looking at, you know, 25 to 40. It, I mean, the, the, these Lafayette, it really just depends on the style. Some of it's sold for me, some of it hasn't. That style doesn't seem too appealing, so I, I would probably say only about 25 to 30. But anyways, this is a J. Jill, and this is a dollar item. And what I really liked about this, I haven't had the best of luck with flannel, but this is one of the softest <laughs> flannels I've ever felt. And it's kind of just a peacoat style, a little bit, I think. And the cool thing about this is it has this really cute lining that is removable. It's got buttons so you can remove the lining, uh, which I thought was great because then it's kind of, you know, in the colder time, it would be a warmer jacket and, you know, people like pink. And so I thought, why not? It's a dollar. It's a good size. It's a large petite, but I don't think that would stop many people. Uh, but yeah, so I thought I'd give that a shot. Hoping for about 35 to 45. I did find a couple, not that color, and they seem to go for that range. So we'll see. All right. This is a dress, a Bowden dress, cute little polka dots. And here's the label. I don't pick a Bowden much. Uh, it just, it doesn't have high comps. I think people like it for style, so they like finding it for style, but the comps, maybe certain items have higher comps, but a lot of the items are 15 to 25. This was a dollar, and it's a large, oh, a size 12, and perfect for the season, super lightweight, so I thought I'd pick that up, hoping to get 20 to 28. This is a Pure Jill, so Pure Jill by J. Jill, and I just kind of thought this was cute, and like a flattering style cardigan, so, it's an open cardigan, but if you see on the back, it kind of has the cinched um, part right here. So it just kind of, I think it's just a more flattering style. This is an XL, and I think this is kind of a space die. Um, but yeah, super cute. Again, a dollar, so hoping to get 20 to 28 for that. This is the other Lafayette 148. This is a wool cashmere blend, I believe. Really nice jacket. It's not buttoned on the bottom. Um, just very soft. When I picked it up, I knew it was good quality. Again, this was a dollar and just a really nice classic jacket, size six. So with this, I'm hoping to get somewhere between 40 and 50 because I think the style and the softness and I just think it's very classic. So I'm gonna aim high with that one. I think this is the last clothing and then a few hard goods. This is a pair of Liverpool Jeans Company. And as you can see, a size 16, so plus size, which is great. I love picking up um, good quality plus size. Uh, this is a Stitch Fix brand. I'm not sure if they sell it anywhere else, but I know they sell it at Stitch Fix. And it's just kind of a slim leg, fun teal color. And this was a dollar. So hoping to get about 20 to 20 for this, but really great condition. And I think someone will really like that. So a few hard goods that I did pick up first up. I haven't cleaned any of these. It is a clock. Oh, a little hard to see. It's the brand is Seth Thomas. And the there is some information down here, which is really helpful. It's the Quartz Rapture is the name of this. And yeah, just kind of fun, heavy. Seems to be in pretty decent condition. I have to get some residue off, but uh, so there have been a few of these that have sold in the last 90 days. I'm hoping, to, or I'm probably going to start this at about 45 and hope for about 25 to 35. I'll aim a little bit high, but I did get a butter dish. And what I thought was my mom said something like she saw someone on YouTube that sold a lot of hard goods that said they can never, they always sell through their butter dishes. And um, so I saw this really pretty blue with the lid. I guess that was the key thing. If a butter dish has the lid... I don't know if there are butter dishes without a lid, but anyways, I don't see any markings on it, but I did find this exact one online. I'm not expecting much, uh, so maybe 12 to 15 for this with shipping, but all of the hard goods with shipping, but yeah, if it doesn't sell, I can use it because I don't have a butter dish. So this also, so when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, how cute it, you know, the, the red lips, I thought it was just kind of a trendy girl with like a top bun and... 
I don't know. That's what I thought. But then when I got home, oh, and it is marked. So I was like, oh, that's a decent brand, you know? I'll pick it up. It was a dollar, I think. Was this a dollar? This was $1.99, so not too expensive. I just thought it was super cute, and I thought someone would really like this. It wasn't until I got home that I realized it's Mrs. And then I did some research, and I think this is Mrs. Claus, like a holiday mug, Mrs. Claus. I didn't, I mean, does, Miss, Mrs. Claus doesn't go to the houses though, so I don't, I don't really get this, but I don't know. And then I thought maybe the Mrs. was, before I looked it up, was maybe like a married couple, and maybe it was missing the mister, and, Whatever. Anyways, I'm still going to try and sell it. <laughs> I'm only expecting about 10 to 12, but I think someone will like it. I just don't know why you would want a Mrs. Claus mug. I guess maybe, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on. Only a couple more things. This was also, this was a dollar and I saw this and typically when I'm in hard goods, I'll just immediately look at the bottom and I saw that this was Linux and I thought, oh great, it's a dollar, it's Linux. I don't know why I didn't think anything of it, but it's, it's clearly missing a top. Like it's got a, a top that was not there. So what I'm gonna do with this is, cause I think it's adorable and it's not chipped, it's in good condition. I think I'm gonna put a succulent in it and uh, put it in my mom's antique booth because I think it's, it's very, yeah, it's very girly. If you have kind of a cream house or room, I don't know, I think it'd be cute. And then the last thing, probably my favorite thing, <laughs> this was on the ground. And I saw the As Seen on TV thing, and so that always just stands out. I, I had a, a makeup compact that sold within a day, not for very much money, but the people look look for them, search for them. Uh, this was, was an ab energizer, and it was only a dollar. It seems to be new. I mean, the box is a little banged up, but it seems to be new. It's got the DV or the VHS, because I guess it's pretty old. It's got the instructions. It's got the thing. I don't know. Anyways. I decided for a dollar, I'll look it up. And sure enough, these are sold. I'm actually hoping to get somewhere between about 20 to 25 for this. So it's easy to photograph, it's lightweight. I don't know how light weight, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's less than a pound. Whoops, I've got to move stuff. It is uh, a little over a pound, so that's unfortunate, but still pretty light. Um, and I will charge the buyer shipping. But anyways, I thought that was kind of fun. So in total, I got 24 items to resell uh, and I spent $81.36. I did get two items for a consignment store, just a couple graphic tees. So I should get about seven to $8 for those each when they sell. Uh, so in total, I'm looking at about $731 to $950 in the sale price. So when you remove fees and all that stuff, um, still not bad for only a few hours at the Goodwill and just some fun finds. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit the thumbs up, lets me know, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys.